Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. In today's video, we have the military surplus number 13. In today's video, guys, I'm going to talk about the two military hats that I have right now. Okay, guys, number one, I have this. This is the U.S. Air Force uh, Tiger Stripe Digital Camo hat. It's the hot weather hat. Um, I, I talked about this in my MRE video, but guys, I only paid $6.50 for this hat, which is why I picked it up. It was the cheapest one I had. Um, like I said, I got rid of a lot of stuff in my storage unit and some with some like BDUs like the cold winter hat with the flaps. I got rid of that one because it was kind of small in the bill. When I got it, it had a big old crease right here through the center of it, y'all. I really like this hat. Um, you know, it doesn't really match anything that I have, but when I do these military surplus videos, it's not about me trying to be tactical or tactical or, you know, look like, you know... I was in the military because I never was. This is I wear a lot of this stuff hunting, which is why I have it because it's good quality clothing, and I wear it hunting. All right, guys. So this is the first hat that I have. This is a size seven and one fourth. Okay, it is ripstop material. If you guys cannot see those little lines in there, I think you can. Um, really fast drying. Um, I did put some, uh, you know, some of that water, the Nick Wax stuff you guys saw, but I don't think it works. So I'm gonna have to get some. Uh, it's the material. It worked on the uh, the UCP uh, windbreaker that I have, the Gen 3 windbreaker, level 4. It worked on that, and it worked on the Gore-Tex jacket. Um, I actually ordered another Gore-Tex jacket in one of the camo because a lady I work for, her son hikes the Appalachian Trail and a bunch of other stuff and through the mountains and things like that, and he's going to be using the jacket that I had that I just bought on eBay. I figured he'd get some good uses out of it. But anyways, guys, um, might have to re-waterproof these. Um, the next one that I actually have is the U.S. Marine Marpat Woodland. Okay, and this is actually a size 7 and 1 fourth hat as well, but it's the True Spec Hat Sun Hot Weather Type 2. Um, you know, guys, it is a 65% uh, polyester, 35% cotton. Um, when I got these, my brother was in the Marine Corps, and he gave me a set of his camis, which were this camo pattern right here. And I wore this opening day of every turkey season since I got them. Uh, number one, because it was cool, and it always blended in real well, but I always wore like a brown turtleneck underneath it, and then wore the cami jacket on top and the pants and everything. Uh, I don't have those anymore, but I still have the hat. And I think I spent like 14 bucks on this. But it has your little webbing right here, so you guys put sticks or whatever you need to on it. Um, I had one that was BDU, and I think it was made by Rothko, but the flaps were a lot smaller than this. Um, so, um, but I still really like this. I dressed up as a Marine sniper once for Halloween, and I wore this hat to work because I work in a nursing home in the kitchen. I think it was the first year I worked there. And I, I had this and the whole get up going on, guys. But inside here is a pocket. Okay, so you guys put like letters or pictures or paperwork or something in there. I don't know what you put in there that you wouldn't want to ruin with all your sweat from your head. But these things are fast drying and they are rip stop material just like the other things. Um, and I wear these with woodland BDUs because they are, the, I mean, it's digital. But, oh well, they do have little, little buttons right there that, uh, you know help keep your head um, dry keep you keep you out of the sun give you some airflow to your head but I just really really like this um, hat so this is a true spec right here guys y'all I don't think y'all can see that tag it came hang on true spec right there I know it's upside down true spec and I made in Honduras I saw some of the um, the um, UCP hats just like this one at the Army Navy surplus store that had the little pocket inside. This one doesn't. This is actual genuine Air Force issue. I just I just really like this hat. I think it looks good, guys. Well, it's not. There ain't much to say. Um, but I like a good boonie hat. Um, they're good to hunt in, mow the yard in, whatever. You know, very practical uses. I used to have a bunch of them, but I got rid of most of mine, and I kept this one, because I like it. 
Um, it does have a leather um, tightener strap thing here, so you can tighten it up right here. And, uh, you know, just look really cool. Um, but I don't know what else more to say about these hats other than, you know, they're, they're good hats. I really, really like them. Um, I would have got one in, uh, you know, the multi cam, but they were like 30 bucks and I didn't really want to pay that, but I did go ahead and pay the $6 and 50 cents on this one. Like I said, so, um, y'all, um, I'm going to have a few more military surplus reviews, not many, um, but y'all stay tuned to the DG Outdoors channel for whatever new series I got coming up here. Um, so uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.